Good evening, Graham Rawlins with our midweek edition of News Geelong. The federal leader of the opposition, Mr Tony Abbott, visited Geelong again this week to open the Liberal Party new offices in Belmont. And the people of Alcoa and Geelong breathed easier following acceptance of the $42 million rescue package announced by the Victorian State Government recently. From the world of sport, Geelong, we will bring you the latest sports news. And while from the weather world, we will bring you the Geelong and Surf Coast area weather forecast expected over the next six days. Liberal House in Geelong has new premises located in High Street, Belmont. Tony Abbott visited Geelong to officially open the new premises and was joined by the newly endorsed Liberal candidate for Karangamite, Sarah Henderson. Graham, I want to give Hope Reward an opportunity uh, for the people of Karangamite because right now uh, the carbon tax is threatening their jobs, uh, the carbon tax is damaging their standard of living. The best thing I can do right now uh, to give Hope Reward an opportunity to the people of Geelong is to work hard with Sarah Henderson to get rid of the carbon tax. Super Sarah, as we've called her locally, she's a wonderful lady. Uh, you've let her loose on uh, Mr Cheeseman once again, but this time we're going to get a lot more votes, you feel? Uh, look, uh, I want her to be uh, a Supreme Sarah, and she will be Supreme Sarah when she comes to Canberra after the next election. And your visit to Geelong today has been very meaningful as far as uh, your concern? Uh, it's been great to open Liberal House, the Geelong office of Senator Ronaldson. I've also been to Incitec Pivot, a business which has been making fertiliser in this city for 90 odd years. Uh, I want that business to continue and it's going to be much harder for them to stay viable with the carbon tax. Uh, we've already got a situation where some 60% of Australian fertiliser is imported. Uh, I want to keep local manufacture of fertiliser. That means getting rid of the carbon tax and doing everything we humanly can to make it easier for people to work, to invest and to employ in Geelong. And one last question, sir. You uh, show a very fanciful suggestion to, uh, for, to come and live down around Geelong or uh, make the, uh, the air of Geelong around home. Well, I was uh, absolutely captivated by the uh, surfing beaches here when I was down in Geelong and the region a couple of months ago for my polypedal bike ride and uh, a couple of the local surf experts uh, took me out to a place called Point Road Night uh, which was protected uh, and beautiful and uh, uh, that's the stuff of which dreams are made. Thank you Tony. Positive attitudes of youth in many areas of our communities continue to pave the way for others to follow suit and be involved, expressing views and thoughts of today's youth through the world of art. Debbie Meany has more. The Bellarine Youth Action crew is wondering who cares? They've designed an art exhibition and it's on the 7th of September. To find out what it is and how people can get involved, I spoke with Liam, one of the organisers. The art exhibition is under the topic of who cares? Um, the idea is to help youth in the Ballerine Peninsula get their art out there. So it gives them a chance to express themselves and I guess get their art public and it also gives them a chance to sell it if they're willing to. So the title Who Cares, what's the idea behind that? Is that specific, broad? Yeah, so the idea of Who Cares, it's more of a general subject so the youth can take it in whatever way they like and express themselves under that topic in whichever medium they would like. So what kind of media are the students uh, putting forward? Um, so the main media that we're targeting is artwork. Um, they can submit from mosaics to paintings to drawings to whatever they feel, I guess. Are the prizes available? Yes, there are prizes available. Um, the applications open between the 26th of August and the 7th of September. And on the 7th of September, we are holding an event to display the artwork. And if the um, person submitting the artwork wants to, there is an option of selling it. The event's going to be held here at the Potato Shed? Yes, it's going to be held at the Potato Shed. Um, it starts from 6 and ends at 8.30. Um, it will be a great event and it will give a chance to show the artwork. Um, there will also be live music. How can people actually get their entries out there? Um, so they can go onto the website youthcan.vic.gov.au and there is an application form on there which they can submit their work. 
Um, my media teacher actually asked me and a few other media students and some other teachers asked their art students to get involved because I thought, I guess they thought that it'd be good to help the community. Um, I thought it'd be good to get it from a youth perspective because the target audience was 12 to 24 year olds. At the Potato Shed, this is Debbie Meany for News Geelong. The National Aboriginal and Islanders Day Observance Committee is celebrating 2012 NAIDOC week with its origins tracing back to the emergence of Aboriginal groups in the 1920s, which sought to increase awareness in the wider community about Indigenous Australians. Meryl Friend reports. NAIDOC, the National Aborigines and Islander Day Observance Committee, is enjoying celebrations from the 1st of July until the 8th of July. We were able to speak with our Mayor, Councillor John Mitchell and Elder Ling McGuinness. Merrill is uh, an opportunity for the uh, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders to uh, highlight uh, you know, themselves as, uh, as a group and uh, to sort of put forward uh, you know, their struggles in the past, uh, you know, the, the, um, what they've done, the gains that they've made uh, and uh, you know, the issues that they have into the future. But it's, uh, it's to highlight the past but it's also to highlight the present. Uh, and uh, you know, the um, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders community in Geelong is very, very strong. And and uh, as I've said many, many times, um, we are a very multicultural community in Geelong and uh, really, uh, you know, the Aboriginal community uh, plays a, a major role in what we do. And, uh, you know, NAIDOC Week is an opportunity for us to highlight that or for, for, for the Aboriginal, or Aboriginal Torres Strait Islanders to highlight that. So, yeah, it's a good week. You were saying before that you, you don't really believe it should only be a week? No, I don't. Uh, I think uh, like, it's like everyone, as I said before, uh, you know, we all have issues uh, and, uh, and if we, uh, we can just sit down and talk about our issues and, uh, and fight for the common good, uh, I think uh, together we can achieve a lot more than what we can if we're, if we're all pulling in different directions. So the first thing we need to do is, and we do do here in Geelong, and as uh, Lynn McGuinness said, uh, she, they're very, very lucky. Uh, the Aboriginal community is very, very lucky here in Geelong because we do sit down and talk. Uh, we don't always agree, uh, and that's fine. Uh, but, uh, you know, I just think that uh, our community is strengthened um, by, uh, you know, open and frank discussion and, and working together uh, to achieve a common goal. And, um, you know, that's what we do here. NODOC stands for National Aboriginal and Islanders Day Observance Committee. And what it means to me is us as Aboriginal people showcasing our good stories, good um, management of programs that we uh, provide to a wider community. So we like to showcase, in other words, it's show off week. <laughs> and so what's the significance of it to you, do you think? It's just the acknowledgement of the wider community, acknowledging us as First Nations people of this country. Because given that we haven't got our treaty, like other Indigenous countries around the world, so that's why it's really important that we um, celebrate. Thank you, Meryl. As we go to a break on this midweek edition of News Geelong, don't forget you can Twitter us on our Twitter account at NewsGeelong31 with your thoughts and comments and also on Facebook, www.facebook.com forward slash NewsGeelong31. We'll return with more news after this. <laughs> 